Hey, you got Pendergrass back with my brother Rob again. Uh, we want to share with you guys one of the sequences that we actually teach in our fundamental uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu program. So it's going to start from the male position, but we're going to finalize it with an arm bar. So Rob's on his back. We're going to start in the male position. For some people that don't are familiar with the uh, male position or Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in general, there's a tendency to want to hug the upper body. So that, that way I can't sit up to start to deliver any kind of strikes. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to post one knee up and then I'm going to use that opposite arm to create a frame to separate. So that way if I wanted to strike, I could. But typically when I go to strike, there's a tendency to want to cover up or even push away. Either way, whether he's covering up or pushing away, we're going to control the outside of the elbow and push him across slightly. Feed the arm under and get the wrist control for the gift wrap position. Okay? Sometimes you may need to deliver the wrist if it's not close enough to grab. But once we have the gift wrap position, I'm going to position my chest just behind his back so I can continue to kind of push him in that direction so that I have more of a, a technical mount position. All right, guys? So once I have the gift wrap here, I want to go ahead and fall to the back side and catch his back. So when I fall here, I'm going to make sure that my hook is in between his legs, okay? As I continue to go all the way to the opposite side, sometimes you're gonna to need to make an adjustment. I wanna make sure that my chest is squared up on his back, okay? So I may need to put the foot on the mat, make a slight hip escape, and then put my second hook in. Okay, guys? Once I have this, all right, I'm gonna to switch to a one-on-one -on -one wrist control. I'm gonna take this outside arm, bring it across his neck, and then I'm going to go back to a Kimura grip on his wrist. I'm going to push him away a little bit with my foot on the hip. Gives me more space so that I can bring the leg in front of the head. Switch my hook to the, a little, to the outside of his hip. Leg over. Drive him over with that leg. Sometimes you'll need to sit up if you're necessary. If he's starting to grab his own wrist. Otherwise, if he doesn't, we're just going to go immediately to controlling the wrist. Hugging the wrist down to this position. Make sure we squeeze our knees together. Make sure his wrist is in a vertical position, and then we can finish for the arm bar. All right, guys, in a slightly opposite, different angle here. <clears throat> We're back in the mount position again. Okay, I'm going to post that knee up so that I can have my hands free to make the frame and, loop and let him uh, make him let go of the position. Once he's down, if I start to strike or slap or anything, he's going to bring his arms up. I'm going to push him across. Okay, settle my chest down so he can't get the arm back through. Okay, go for the gift wrap position. I'm going to use this gift wrap to fall back. Okay, guys, here. Let's get around a little bit. Okay, I want to make sure you guys see what's going on here. I've got the gift wrap. I'm going to go to a two on one wrist control. Okay, I'm going to let go. So now I have just the underhook arm wrist control. Bring this forearm in front. I'm going to go back to his wrist and grab my own wrist so that I have the Kimura grip position. Sometimes it's going to be necessary. If he's really high up on you, it's going to be difficult to get the leg in front of the head. So I'm going to push him away with the foot on the hip to create more space here. And with the frame here, it's going to allow me space to be able to throw this leg in front of his head. Okay, so I'm here. I'm going to drive his head away with my leg as I transfer this left leg towards his shoulder. Sit up, hug his wrist, fall back with the arm. Make sure you pinch your knees, make sure that the wrist is in a vertical position, and then you're going to finish the arm bar there. Okay guys, so that's a really good sequence of moves, starting from the male position, making him let go of the bear hug, going to the gift wrap position, taking his back, and then finishing it with the arm bar. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you're ever in Wake Forest, please come check us out. We're located at 12339 Wake Union Church Road. Uh, check us out online at uh, bjjnc.com. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. Thanks, guys.